Tuna Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo, and we are going to start our brand new franchise park, and um, yeah, we'll see what we get to today, but um, I've been trying to figure out where to actually put the zoo, um, and I think I'm going to do it here, around kind of where I'm from, you know. Um, so I don't want to do desert because we've already done that. I'm going to go ahead and do North American Grassland. And um, as far as a zoo name, I really want to get you guys' um, ideas on that. But for now, we'll go with, um, I think I'm going to do, maybe if I can like go up and house. <laughs> I'm going to do um, Heartland Zoo. I don't know. Let's see if it'll work. Because I know sometimes uh, when you try to put a zoo name in, it it doesn't take it for some reason. But we'll try that. And let me know if you guys like that name. If you want me to go with something else. And I just... <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Because I am horrible with coming up with names. So, obviously, I'll change it if you guys want me to. Or if I think of something better. <laughs> okay. So can we just hit create instead of clicking out of the thing? Alright. Create or zoo. Create. It won't let us. Okay. There it goes. Jeez. Alright. I don't know how many zoos we just bought there, but okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start fresh. Um, obviously, we don't really care about the five times slower just yet. But, um, this almost looks like desert, doesn't it? That stinks, but oh well. Okay, so let's go ahead and pause. And what I want to do differently this time, I want to try to be uh, more creative uh, with the zoo. I don't know how well that's going to work out, but we'll see. So I want to, obviously first, we'll have to keep things closer to the front here. I want to go ahead, let's hit H to bring up the overlay, and we'll go to um, power. Okay. Okay. So that's a pretty big area. Let's go up real quick. So, um, where, there we go. What I want to do is go ahead and go over to terrain. And we'll just, let's just use sand. Because I want to try to just have an outline of where this goes this brush is probably a little bit too big for this but it's okay all right probably not the best outline but and you can barely see it <laughs> all right let's go ahead and bring the intensity up let's do that again just so we can know how far we can build stuff. Oh, that went in. Uh, let's go over here. Alright, that should be good enough. There we go. Alright. We can always look back at the heat map if we need to. So, uh, what I would like to do eventually is take this building down and actually have a proper entrance but of course for now it's not really gonna matter too much let's go ahead and double click on the path here um again q is to go down and e is to go up so that's a very helpful to get and we're not gonna Worry about, well, totally worry about staying on a grid this time. This isn't going to be a gridded zoo like last time. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to make the width probably 23. 
That looks good. And I, I kind of want to do um, some changes in the terrain height in this one. Just because I think it'll make it look a bit more exciting. Um, let's see. I'm going to want to do like a pretty big uh, entry area. Like a plaza type thing. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put this straight out. Or at least straight-ish. We'll do it out to there. Because probably all this stuff we're going to eventually be moving anyways. So let's go ahead and go to South Half. I'll do that. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and change the width down all the way. Oh, what am I, what am I doing? To control. Is that gonna, why is it stuck there? Okay, get out of path, back in. Sometimes you just have to get out and get back in to make it cooperate. Um, so what I'll do for now, I'm just gonna make a path here. I want to make it far enough away that we can put put our buildings here and not worry about um, the people being uh, having negative impact. You know, I was gonna say like the people being mad. I guess they're not super mad, but they don't like seeing the buildings. So let's go ahead and we'll do facilities. Um, and again, I'm just going to do the, like, outer shell of the building first. So, we'll obviously need a keeper hut. I'm not going to do the large ones. But I do like that if you've done the research, um, the stuff is there in your other zoos that you start, which is super awesome. I love it. Alright, so we'll put the keeper hut there. And let's go ahead and do a staff room um, on the other side. Again, we'll put the large ones in, but I'm not going to do large just yet. So, we'll do... I don't want it on that grid. Okay. Why didn't it go there? That's fine. All right. And let's see, we will need, uh, where's the trade center? There it is. Wow, look at that. I just want to look. Oh, that is, that is crazy, honestly. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and put the trade center in. We'll do that right, actually, hold on. Can I add it? Yes. I'll add it to this since it is on the same side. We'll go ahead and do that. And research center we don't necessarily need just yet. I'm trying to think what else we absolutely need. And for some reason I cannot think about it. I mean we'll need a quarantine and stuff later. But let's go ahead and do that. Because we need to get some money coming in and, uh, you know, get an animal. So, let's go ahead and do a caretaker. Um, usually that comes back when you right-click, but okay. Uh, keeper. Oh, there we go. Now, that, now it works. I don't know if we necessarily need a vet, but we'll get one just in case. All right. So, so every other time it worked where I hit right click and it came back to the window on its own. That's weird. That is just weird. All right. So I think two thirty is good, but I don't think we need this that because we don't want to start them off super expensive. Let Let's check. I'm gonna open this. And we'll go here. Yeah, because if we go if we go one more, it's in the red. I don't want it to be red. I want it to be in the green, but just barely. And after we get money, we'll 
you know, fix it up, but... Oh, that is, like, right on the edge. Okay. So, yeah, that should be fine. All right, now we need to find some animals. Or one animal, at least. Let's see. Um... I don't, I don't think we want to do a Bengal tiger right at the first, do we? And I wish you could, um, uh, sort it according to, like, the continent or whatever. That'd be super awesome. That one's okay. Let's go to Zoopedia. I know once we go to Zoopedia, it's probably going to not be in here anymore, but that's okay. Um, so we've got grassland. Okay. North America. Awesome. All right. I thought, oh, there we go. Back. Um, it's only one credit, which, okay. We'll adopt that one. So we've got a male pronghorn. Now we need a female pronghorn. Because I think what I'm going to do is uh, try to stick with the animals that are native to this uh, kind of environment first, and then we will uh, kind of branch out from there. Let's see. Let me know what you guys think about that. Pronghorn. Oh, here we go. Female. Okay, longevity is not great. Oh, that's male. Let's go ahead and get this one. Okay. So technically, um, okay, I don't want to put it anywhere. Okay. So technically we could get a quarantine and put these guys in, but I don't really want to do that just yet. So what we'll do, because for now, since I want to kind of have a big entrance area, I think I'll keep those buildings here. And then have a um, habitat about here. And then hopefully, well, I don't know. I don't know if we'll have to move it or not. We'll see. So let's go ahead and just do a chain link for, for now. And let's see if we can. It seemed like it needed quite a big area. All right, so not doing the gridded zoo is going to be, I don't know, a little weird because we're not going to, like, make sure that things are on the grid, obviously. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, do you like that idea or not like that idea? Um, I mean, I kind of felt like I needed to stick with the grid because that was the kind of zoo I was doing, but... Hopefully this will look good too. I don't know. We'll see. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll do... We need to get a habitat gate. Obviously we'll put it right uh, over here. And then we'll do this. I know we need to move the tree, but we'll just put it right here. Awesome. And... We'll move this guy. Okay. Uh, um, we've got a very, very early start <laughs> to the game. So, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So that's the only thing, is I kind of like the path to be straight, the entrance path at least. So, I don't know. That's going to be a little weird. You know, not doing the gridded zoo part. Okay. And then let's go ahead. And I want to do a different type. Um, I don't think I want to... I don't know. Do I want to do that? It's definitely different. The block path. Um, I don't really like the look of that. It looks like it has moss growing in it. hexagon stone path I like this one let's do this one but I've done it before it's 
we could just do a gravel path for the... I don't know. Would that be weird? To walk on a gravel path to the animals? I don't know. Let's see. Um, we can't get all the way up there. Um, uh, okay. The length is down all the way. So we'll just do it this way. And I guess we'll do that. And that. Wow, that looks weird. Okay. And then to uh, make these a more of a corner, you just click and then right click to get rid of it. And then that makes it more of a uh, corner there. I like that. So I'm going to try to go over the shortcuts I'm using just in case you guys are uh, watching one of these for the first time and have no clue how to play. Um, so yeah, hopefully you, uh, will like that. We'll see how that goes. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and hit play, I think. See what happens. Uh, hit play. Okay. And let's go to zoo and animals. Uh, I thought I bought two of these. Didn't I buy two of these? I could have sworn. Um, animal trading. Okay. Trade center. There we go. That's weird. Alright. Let's do that. Alright. And when they get in, we'll see what they actually need. Alright. Let's see what you need over here. Um, the they need heart shelter, soil. Wait, no, yeah, soil and rock. Let's do soil and we'll go ahead and make the size up as much as we can. So I don't think they like this ground too much. I don't think they mind it, honestly, but we'll just paint it away there. And obviously that is way too much. Let's go ahead and give them some rock. Um, honestly, rock to me kind of seems like you need a little bit of uh, elevation. So let's go here. Go to pull. I want the intensity to be intensity to be that bad. Let's see if we just have like some random hill looking things here. I don't want to do too many, but you know, just to make it a little a little crazy. Um, we'll do roughing. I think to make it look a little bit less um, round. I think that's fine. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I forgot to look at uh, oh, that's what I need. This. Oh yeah, they got plenty of space. Okay. <laughs> plenty of space. <clears throat> so, Let's see what we can do here. I want to... I don't know if we'll stick with this gravel path. It looks a little weird. But, let's go ahead. Uh... Oh no, I need... Oh, okay. I was like, where's my stuff? <clears throat> it's like, I know my stuff is here. Alright, so we'll put some donation boxes here. And also put some out here. Because we want everybody to give us their money. <laughs> give us your money. Alright. So, let's do... Uh, I don't like that there seems to be like trails now. And I don't know when that got added. But I really wish they would take it out. There we go. I don't like... And 
They should all have power. Pronghorn and pronghorn. All right. Um, let's get a speaker in the middle here. And let's double double tap H to get rid of that overlay because that is annoying. What I'm gonna do is just bring it down and click. Okay. We'll go ahead and do pronghorn antelope. And I'm just going to make it, I don't know if I want to make it that big, because I don't know, I think this affects the animal's uh, stress level if they, if this is too crazy, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so I have like that, sure, why not, and I think one of the things, well, we'll do that in a bit, that's fine. Let's go ahead and play. See if we can get some people coming in. Oh, but first I want to check. We do H and habitat. Okay, so they can't get out. They can't get up that spot, but that's okay. It's fine. So let's do habitat and we'll go for uh, filters, species, and pronghorn, antelope, there we go. They need to add a search, bar, uh, search thing there, that would be awesome. So this is super cool, we have everything researched, that is awesome. Alright, so I'm going to put a scratching or rubbing pad right there. We can't change the color, I never do that. I just put them in. I never changed the color. Should probably do that. Oh, what what happened? Give me that. All right, we'll do one of these guys. Uh, that might be too low to the ground, but we'll see. And let's do a barrel feeder over here. Want to keep it kind of close to where the keepers come in. And then we'll also do a food trough. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I can't hit V either. That's weird. Uh, let's see. We'll put that. I still want to keep it over here where the where the keepers come in. I think what we'll have to do is go ahead and move this. Although I don't know, since I kind of made the land a little crazy, I don't know if there's any like super flat area, like where they can see, where the people can see them. Oh, I meant to look and see. Uh, do they need... Let's go to uh, Zoopedia. Because I want to look at the... Gra grade 2. Okay. Um, when we get more animals in, I'll come back. I don't think we need that big one, do we? It's cool looking. Let's Let's put this in the back. We'll put it, like, back here. And we'll just do this. It's going to mess with the land, though. That's what I don't like. That's what I don't like about that. Okay. They should be happy. Um, they look pretty happy to me. Oh, um, too much soil. So let's put some short grass. And I don't want to put short grass where they're, uh, where the animal's probably going to move a lot. Because I want that to still be kind of a, kind of a, um, shorter, you know what I mean. The ground gets a little bit more wear there, where they, um, walk. Because there's, I mean, it's green, but barely. We'll keep it there. It's hundred and hundred percent, so we're good. All right. So we've got their enrichment. Let's see, North America and grassland temperate. So let's do that real quick, and then that's probably where we're going to end for this one. Um, why do I keep doing that? Stop it. <laughs> let's see, grassland and temperate. 
Oh, and uh, one more thing. Uh, North America. Do uh, continent North North America. Okay. There we go. So, let's see. I don't know if they like... I mean, looks like they pretty much tolerate whatever you put in there, right? Uh, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna hit V when we're on flat so it won't keep trying to go all kinds of weird angles. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put this down into the ground. Does a little bush thing. I like it. I like it. He's uh, got some scars on him. Did you... Man. Did that happen here? Because <laughs> if that happened here, that's not good. Uh, nope. Resume. <laughs> I mean, he looks good, so... I guess that happened a while back. Um, I think that's why, because this one was like one credit, I think. I, I think that explains it. Okay. So, yeah, I think that is probably where we're going to end for this one. We got our uh, very first animal in our new franchise park. And uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. So, like I said, I do want to try to be more creative in this one. Um, so, once we have money coming in, we'll probably move some stuff around but but i'm liking what we have so far hope you guys are too if you enjoyed the episode hit that thumbs up also if you're new to my channel or haven't already go and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out look at that barrier already why does it look so bad i don't know let's call a mechanic um but yeah so if you want to play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, they're all down below in the description. Check those out and come over and have some fun over there. Um, and yeah, I think that's where we're going to end. So I hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, and comment down below. Um, and I am saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, until next time, I hope you have a super blessed day. Thank you so much for watching. And again, this is the first of the month, so if you want to become a patron, you can get into the zoo from the very start. I'll um, add people while you know we get more staff members and all that. And yeah, until next time, I hope you have a blessed day, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.